Ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, I wanted to say, I think a couple of days ago, it's been two weeks of posting a video every day, which is much, but I mean, for me, that's a lot, and I'm proud of myself. Um, I've never really had commitment to do anything like this before, and I just kind of felt like I had the motivation and stuff, and I did it, and I'm getting proud of myself, and I wanted to thank everyone who's been here, um, yeah. Um, but with that, this title is not clickbait. Hamilton literally made me realize I was dyslexic. Backstory. Hamilton, if you don't know, is an amazing play by Lin-Manuel Miranda, and I would play the music, but this video would get taken down instantly if I even tried to. But you need to know that there's one song, and in the song, um, they spell out Alexander, because Hamilton's full name was Alexander Hamilton. Um, so, little backstory on me. I have always had a hard time with handwriting. Uh, my handwriting is horrible. In fact, I could probably show you. Look at that. I mean, can you see? Yeah, that's how bad my handwriting is. And that's me. That took me 10 minutes to write. I tried very hard making that look good. I can't. I have horrible handwriting. I'm also really bad at spelling, rhyming, um, and many, many, many other things. I also forget the words that I'm saying. Halfway through, I'm saying them, and I forget what they mean. And if I don't know what something means, my brain literally does not understand anything of what just happened. So, like, I could read an entire page, totally understand it. One word, I don't know what it means. I just totally forget what I just read. It's incredibly annoying. I thought I was just dumb. I honestly thought, hey, maybe I'm just dumb. Come to find out, these are all very common signs of dyslexia. We found this out because I was listening to Hamilton in the car with me mother, and I, uh, the part of the song came on where they're like, A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R, and I j did that this time, but I practiced a lot before this to make sure I could do it correctly, but I jokingly said, I think I'm dyslexic because I've never actually, um, never been able to get that and like all other spelling parts and there's a bunch of rhyming parts that I can't do even though I've listened to this soundtrack like literally hundreds of times and we're like oh ha 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 oh wait my mom brings up the fact that as a kid it was so hard for me to study in class like syllables uh spelling everything that had to do with writing so uh just a couple weeks ago I had a dyslexia screening where basically there was a lady who was like, all right, I'm like the dyslexia person. If you have dyslexia, then uh, you'll probably fail this test to an extent. Er, not that, but basically I did a test and lo and behold, she was like, yeah, you definitely have some sort of dyslexia. And to think that my whole life I've had this. And it makes sense but what brought it out was hamilton the play by lin-manuel miranda the disney original play hamilton like <laughs> it's incredible hamilton hamilton alexander hamilton he's dead as hell but he is what uh made me realize i was dyslexic all started from one line in a song so yeah thought i'd share that with you if you want i'll talk about being dyslexic and how it's affected me but i thought that was funny so yeah see you later and subscribe because no one subscribes do it every time i say this i get subscribers when i don't i don't i don't understand it i don't like saying it but it's what works but yeah see you later and here's to another 50 weeks